Sorry, sorry, but you know you should use the old logo because it's a bit more, a bit more evolvy, I guess. Right, fine. The game had a randomly generated world filled with grass, dirt, and an awful lot of stone. You could destroy blocks and place blocks. The spark was there, but it needed more. Yeah, like squids. Stop it. Shortly after, more things appeared like trees, water, clouds. Lava. Yeah, yes, lava. The world looked a little more natural. This was the creative mode in single player, but something was missing. TNT. No other people. Tests began with a multiplayer version. People could now play together. New items and blocks were also added. The game was beginning to take shape. Wow, really skimming over the details there. Do you want me to go over all the patch notes? No. The wiki page won't load anyway. Moving on, the game now had multiplayer and creative single player. But there was another element that Notch wanted. Survival. Work began on making the game more challenging. Zombies and skeletons were put in, but they could not attack. Sheep and pigs were added too. Whoa. Notch also fluffed the coding of the pig and it turned into a creeper. At this stage, this version of the game was labelled Classic. 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 Brilliant. Then from Classic came the in-dev